sia lodato Gesù Cristo. È la quarta domenica dopo la Pasqua. La Pasqua Easter, that is, the resurrection of Jesus, for us Christians is a sure historical fact that took place on a precise day of a precise year. Easter for us is a certain fact. It really happened. It is the support point of all human history and a valid reason for our optimism. However, a problem seems to disturb the conscience of believers. The problem is this. After the resurrection, did Christ cut ties with us or is he here? Has he become absent from our life? Or is he present? Is it far away? Or it is close? Let's let the Gospel speak. Jesus, in the Last Supper, he said, I will never leave you orphans. I will return to you. It is a clear, confident statement. On the day of the Ascension, Jesus says again, I am with you all the days until the end of time. These are wonderful, comforting words. I am with you. There is therefore no day that can deny Christ's fidelity. But then we ask ourselves, where is this Christ? Sometimes the world seems to be without God. Sometimes even the Christian appears abandoned by his God. Is this really so? Or are we the ones who seek God where He is not and expect Him signs that He will never give? Are there any signs of Jesus' presence? Is there a story of good that advances, that grows, and will one day participate in the final triumph of the risen Christ? Let's listen to today's Gospel. Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branches. It is an example that expresses delicacy and humility. Life is often taken as an example of humility. Christ loves to present himself as a vine, precisely to underline the patient, discreet, long-term style that characterizes the presence of God in the world. Whoever dreams of a warrior God, a triumphant God, an aggressive God, bold in history, is disappointed. God is not like that. Jesus said it clearly. But one thing is certain, God wins through the love that gives life, and the Christian wins through the faith that wields him to the love of God. I am the vine, and this is the victory that has defeated the world, our faith. There are signs of this victory, visible. We listen, and you are the branches. The shoots, they are the concrete people of every day, people whom we meet at work, in the street. Are there branches in the world that reveal the presence of a vine that is Christ? If the word of Christ is true, there must be people in whom the life of Christ, the risen one, can be seen. Look around you. Today, how many live branches can be seen? They make no noise, as evil makes noise. A falling tree makes more noise than an entire forest growing. Se la parola di Cristo è vera, ci devono essere persone nelle quali i sacerdoti. Think of the priests and Christians who freely consecrate themselves to the recovery of drug addicts and to the comfort of the sick and to the help of the poor and children in many parts of the world. It is a difficult, exhausting undertaking. Yet there are people who voluntarily consume themselves for it. Think of the extraordinary men of the 20th century, Padre Pio, Don Luigi Orione, Raul Folero, Dr. Schweitzer, Dr. Schweitzer, anche lui un laico, che tralcio meraviglioso, Don Calabria, Monsignor Facibeni in Florence, Don Carlo Gnocchi in Milan, Paolo Takashi Nagai in Japan, and many others. 
Domenico Mondrone has published 10 volumes with a significant title, The Saints Are Still There. They are all short biographies of extraordinary men and women of our time. Here then is a consoling thought. This flowering of branches is not possible without the vine. These men and women are not possible without the presence of Christ. Nothing comes from nothing. Under these branches, there is necessarily a vine that gives the sap. The signs of Christ's presence are there. It is we who often do not want to see. Think of Hamish Fraser. In 1936, he organized a mock trial against the statue of Christ the King in a square in Madrid and had it shot for a joke. But after the meeting with the holy priest, he converted and in Paris, in a public conference, he said, I'm not saying that I hope that the atheists will convert. I'm sure of it. If we too were good shoots, yes, the good shoots are there. And it is not only the great saints, those who amazed us, those who have received from God the task of lighting a strong light in the darkness of the world. These saints are there and they are many. But there are also the little saints, the saints of everyday life, the saints nobody talks about, but whom God sees and writes their names in the book of life. I will limit myself to a few examples. The mother of St. John Bosco was left a widow very young with three children and a paralyzed mother-in-law. She courageously carried out her work in the fields, educated her children in the faith. She found time, especially in the evening, looked after her mother-in-law until her death. And then, and when the priest's son began the great educational enterprise of the young, he ran beside her. She was a mother to many difficult and restless boys. Once, after the boys had devastated by playing the small vegetable garden that she cultivated for them, she had a moment of despair. She told her son that she wanted to return to her home. It was enough for her son to point to the crucifix to her, saying, Mother, and what should he do? The mother replied, I understand. And she continued her mission until her death. How many mothers like this are still there? They are hidden, but they are there. They spend their whole lives without expecting a thank you. I will limit myself to mentioning also the illiterate mother of St. Maria Goretti, Mamma Asunta. She was able to tell her daughter's killer, God forgave you, my daughter forgave you, how could I not forgive you too? And she hugged him and wiped away his tears. A mother like this is a real branch that manifests the power of Christ. A young father who donated a kidney to save his son on dialysis was recently interviewed in an evening edition of the news. The reporter told him, You were a hero. No, I was simply a father. By the grace of God, there are still fathers like this. An inevitable question. We are branches united to the vine, which is Jesus. Are we branches that manifest Jesus, or do we hide Him? This question keeps us good company in the week ahead. Sia Gesù Cristo. May Jesus Christ be praised.